One of the biggest challenges we face is the loss of time through task switching. What happens is we start to feel so overloaded from everything we need to get done during the day. And whether we work for a company or we own our own business, we have to do more with less. So what happens is we tend to jump on whatever task has suddenly landed in front of us. And we do that constantly throughout the day. And that task switching costs us time. What you want to do is make sure that you establish what your higher value tasks are. Make sure those are ingrained in your mind and posted in your office. That way, as all of these random requests get thrown at you, you can refocus back into what's the highest priority. What tasks do I truly need to work on now because they're of higher value? Also, a key productivity hack is make sure before you check email in the morning that you understand what your top three tasks are for the day. So that way, if you get a little lost in that email inbox, you can rein yourself back in by knowing what those top three objectives are. Time leaks are those little traitors that creep in during the day and then steal our time up to three hours a day. When you think about procrastination, it can cost us five minutes here, 20 minutes there. There are interruptions throughout the day, maybe 10 minutes here, 20 minutes there. And it's not like you're losing all three hours at one time. That's why we often don't realize this is happening. But when you add up all of those little time leaks, it can add up to that three hours, which is a huge loss of time. The good thing is that the majority of time leaks in our day are self-imposed. That means if they're self-imposed, we can also make the decision not to do those things. For example, procrastination. A lot of us procrastinate by grabbing our devices and just tapping an app or a game, something that is on the home screen of our device. So a productivity hack would be to move those temptation apps to a rear screen. That way it takes a little longer to get to that procrastination mode and you can catch yourself in the act while you're trying to get there. Another way we lose time is through those reminders, those digital reminders that pop up on our device or on our computer screen. The problem is that we set reminders for random days and times, and we don't schedule that time on our calendar. For instance, you might have a reminder pop up that you need to call somebody or you need to work on a certain project. But since you haven't scheduled that time in your calendar, that reminder pops up when you're doing something else. So you lose time to answering the reminder, clicking on dismiss, and then rescheduling that reminder for yet another random day and time. So by scheduling those reminders on our calendars as well, we can definitely cut back on that lost time. What I most hope readers take away are the skills that they need to work more efficiently throughout the day so that way they can have a life outside of work. The book is basically an encyclopedia for time management because it contains all the solutions to every known productivity roadblock. There are how-tos, there are step-by-step -step guides so you can recognize where you're having challenges and how to solve those challenges. There are even sample scripts in there, so if you're not sure how to deal with people who constantly interrupt you and steal your time away, you've got all of that information there. What I want this book to do is give you the understanding that you do have the power to tell your time what to do.